Hi guys, Brian the Scary Lion back with another video and today we're doing a subreddit. Now I went through to try to find a good one to put on because there's quite a lot of subreddits and the one that I found was mine. So that's the one we're going to do today, let's just get straight into it. Uh, let's have a look what we've got. Scrubs slash Tintin mind f***. Uh, we've got a picture of Tintin here. We've circled the tree. Circled just. And then we've got a scene from Scrubs. Oh, this is the scene from Ben's funeral. I remember that episode. And uh, yeah, it's the exact same tree. Like, exact same. Down to the smallest detail. <clears throat> and I, I can't see that behind there, so yeah, I don't, I don't really, that's not really mind <laughs> it's just a coincidence in it, so yeah, let's just go on to another one. This one is, wait, slopes don't work like that, dot dot dot, oh, I go on, let's see it. Oh, all right. The the yeah, they're going the wrong way. Okay, how does that work then? No, well, like hon honestly, how does that work? Uh, I I don't get it. No, I I still don't get it. How how, how does that work? No. <laughs> yeah, that one is a mine. But yeah. Yeah, they've got us way a weird one there, so... Yeah, on to another. Crazy how nature do that. Do that, mate. Right, yeah, uh, click on it. What have we got? Oh. This is some pretty decent editing, wow. <laughs> Someone's done well with this, like, really well. Nice. So th this this is one of them videos that just you look at and you're just like in awe. Someone's done really well with editing this together, like really really well. I, 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 if I could, I would li literally watch this over and over again. It's that's brilliant. That yeah. Uh, on on to the next one. That that's just amazing. Well. This one's literally just titled Welp. Either there has always been something, or at some point there was nothing. Both of these scenarios are unfathom unfathomable and seem impossible, but clearly at least one of them isn't. How do you explain that? What? Either there's... Well, yeah, it's true. Because it, once you, you try to think about it, you think for every... For every beginning, there is an end, and for every end, there is a beginning. So, like, the universe had, had to start at some point, but... What was there to start it, or what ended to start it? Crazy one does make you think but yeah on to the next one this one is keep your eyes locked on the black like cross all right oh all oh, right yeah I get it like it, it's like the little green light is eating all of the pink lights when you know for a fact that all that's happening is Oh wow, no, actually all that's happening is the pink dots are disappearing, but it actually looks like a green light eating all of the pink lights. Mad! But yeah, it's, it's something to do with your mind, like, filling in blanks that aren't there. But yeah, let's go on to the next one. Next one. Mind <laughs> Okay, let's see how, how <laughs> mind gets. What has four letters? Sometimes nine, but never has five letters. What has four letters? Sometimes nine letters. 
Uh, I don't know. What does have four letters, sometimes nine, but never five? Up? It's not Postman because he can have five letters. Uh, does it give us an answer? It's not a question. The words what has four letters, sometimes has nine letters, and never has five. Oh! Nice! That, that, that's just me being... Is that me being a bit of a moron, or is that... Is that an obvious one? That should I have got that straight away? Let me know down below if I should have got that one straight away, because... Yeah, the... My mind went a bit blue. But yeah, on to the next one, I guess. The next one is computer rendition of the Tesseract four dimensional cube. What have we got? Let's have a look. Oh. Again, for me, this one isn't mind. It's just cool. That actually does look really cool. And it, it it's it's kind it kind of just feels like it's drawing me in. I don't know what about why it is about it, but it just I, I feel like I'm being pulled towards this image. That's a lovely feeling I'm getting. Yeah. Uh, again, I could sit and look at this all day, but I'm gonna move on so I'm not boring you. <laughs> Yeah, on to the next one. Next one is Dream Mind. Okay, let's have a little goosey gander. What if dreams are actually just the adventures you have in parallel universes? Well, if my dreams are the adventures that I'm having in parallel universes, then the other me is literally f***ed. There's no way around it. He is literally Yeah. <laughs> My dreams are pretty mad. So yeah, on to the next one. Actually, before I move on to the next one, I want to say, comment down below how the you in another universe would be doing if this, this whole thing was true. Yeah, let's move on. The next one we've got is something I think a lot of people would love. Infinite chocolate. Well, yeah, I could, uh, well, actually, it does make sense. You can't have infinite chocolate, so the image is gone. <laughs> so, yeah, moving on. The next one is, oh, wow, it took my brain so long to figure this out. Oh, no, it's, ow, my brain took so long to figure this out. Uh, actually, yeah, well, what am I looking at? I, I actually... What? It looks like a meld of like two dots. Is this photoshopped? Is this some sort of photoshopping? It's a... What? what? Hold on, let, let's read. Please can someone explain. This mind <laughs> me the first time I saw it. The dog's head is turned sideways. The nose looks like the right eye the dog's head's turned sideways which which side no I still don't get it I still don't get it okay that, that, that's just mental no, no that that is actually what uh, I can't see it. I honestly just can't see it. So yeah, I'm going to back away because it's being explained and I still don't get it. So yeah, on to the next. What happens when you die? Worth the read, I promise. I was going to skip over this one, but worth the read, I promise. Kind of intrigues me. The drug DMT is a powerful hallucinogenic compound found in your body. 
that when released dilates your body's perception of time and causes powerful hallucinations. With enough DMT, you can get a full breakthrough, which is where you seem to enter a new universe. Your body perceives time as stopped. Your body can take DMT multiple ways, but it is naturally released through the body right before you die. So what I am thinking along the lines of an afterlife is that breakthrough is that breakthrough now it sounds like a crazy idea i know but it is scientifically possible and i will attempt to explain it once the body releases dmt before you die it starts to perceive time slower and slower until it perceives time has stopped i.e a breakthrough now that you're dead you will never come out of the dmt trip which kicked in right before death and the rapid dilation of your perception of time until stagnation stops your consciousness before it realises it's dead and exists forever in the world of a breakthrough on DMT. Just because the person is dead to everyone else, they are still alive at a fixed point in time in the past in a DMT dream state. In brackets, heaven. Because if anyone has seen a Nova show on space time, it explains how things can exist still in the past or at fixed points in time. I hope you understood what I am attempting to explain, and if not, slash, or would like to know more, feel free to ask. I, I got it, but I'm not that, I'm, I don't think I'm smart enough to understand it. I mean, I get the whole DMT uh, breakthrough, like, it, it, it's, your, it's a part of your consciousness living forever. So, yeah, it's, that is not a pleasant thing to think about. It's, it's thinking about eternity trapped in a place for, like, nothing, nothing moves. Nothing is alive there's nothing there that is a messed up thought to think of oh yeah no i don't i don't want to think about that i wouldn't i don't want to spend eternity in a frozen point in time oh no definitely not let's let's move on but that actually before we move on yeah that was very interesting and it hit it has actually put thoughts into my mind it's given me something to think about, like, properly. Wow, yeah, uh, moving on. Okay, the next one is, this is driving me insane. How many triangles? Right. How many triangles, and then how many triangles? Right, so, uh Wow, yeah, they've, um, they've both definitely got the same amount of triangles because they're both the same image. Oh, wait. Actually, no, the blend of colour. I just spotted that. There's a blend of colour which, like, puts triangles in some of them, but not all of them. Like, have a properly close look and you will see, like, there is differences in the images but it's all just based on the colour which is actually pretty awesome but yeah uh, I don't want to sit here and literally count triangles because uh, that I think you will definitely get bored of me just sitting going one two three four yeah no, that does not make for good viewing. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I can see what they're trying to do though. They're trying to make you think, oh yeah, both images have the same amount of triangles. Whereas in fact, they don't just because of the colour. So yeah, let's get on to the next one. Yeah, this is going to be the last one that we look at. And it's called, a bag of salt ruined my whole weekend today. No, I do like the sounds of that, just, just for the fact of a bag of salt ruining someone's weekend. But go on, let's see. I swear to God, can I have an existential crap? 
I swear to God, I can have an existential crisis over anything. Is your salt real? <laughs> oh, so yeah, we... <laughs> what salt is real salt? And it li literally has that printed on the side. Do you know what? Way to grab someone's attention. Uh, like, salt is a hard product to sell as your own because it's salt. You go to the shop, you just go, can I have some salt? Or you just go to the aisle that it's on, grab the salt paper it and go, you don't even care what's on it. That is a good way to actually <laughs> attract people to yours. I love it. Uh, we're not exactly finishing on a mine, but we are finishing on a really good and funny one. I'm going to end the video here. Um, if you did like, uh, give the video a like. Comment down below what you thought. Any thoughts and ideas uh, on the video you've just seen or anything that you'd like to see for the future. Uh, subscribe so that you can keep up to date with my content. Hit the bell so you can get notified whenever I release a new video. And thanks for watching. See you in the next one.